Welcome back to John's Game Couch. I'm John. This is my couch. As usual, I'm with Zach. And he's not going to say anything. Oh, yeah. And Zach. I'm also with Justin. What's up? We are still playing Super Mario Odyssey. We just landed in the Cascade Kingdom. And uh, I don't know what he's saying. I played this game a long time ago. But um, we are currently stuck here until we figure out a way to get out. These are checkpoints. Yes, John. We are stuck until we figure out how to get out. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and that is the... That is, uh... It's never been put so unclear. Oh, my goodness. Dude, Jump I am... Coins, man. Oh, this is going to kill me. Can you just go back and... What yeah. coins did mind. I miss? Those on the tree stump. Oh, my goodness. Those tree stump coins. I go back for coins. Oh, this is a... It's oh, a currency, on, man. Um, so, this game also has purple coins. I, let me see if there's any over here. I don't remember if there's any it's over here. It's just weird to leave something unknown. Um, every level has gold coins. There they are. Every level has gold coins, which is just the regular currency, and then every level has purple coins, which are special to the level. And it's with those... Plastic. And some have apples. Um, uh, I think you're thinking of the wrong game, Zach. Hey, question. I'm going to overtake this chain chomp. Uh, the plaque probably said, hey, welcome to uh, wherever it is we are now. Oh, and there's our first power moon, guys. That's the first one. The first of 999 on power moons. And I am not a... Um, I try to be the kind of person who collects everything in a game. You're a trophy hunter. I, well, there's no trophies in Nintendo Switch games. But I do like collecting everything. Uh, so that is our first of 999 power moons. Nice. Whether or not we will have the ability to get all 999, who knows? Is that the goal for this uh, Let's Play series? Eh, we'll see. We'll get as far as we can. Getting as many as we can. Yeah. The question is, is, do you know where they all are? I know where the grand majority of them are. And there are some that are definitely harder than others. See, this is, um, this is, quote unquote, our the spaceship. The chub bucket? The chub bucket. It does look like a chub <laughs> totally bucket, does. doesn't it? <laughs> oh. But this is our uh, spaceship, and we are going to collect power moons so that the spaceship flies. And the game will tell us how many we need in order to take off. So right now we have one. Uno. Uno. That power moon must not have given the ship enough energy. Oh, because the power moon supplies so it's, power. So underneath the 201 coins, is telling uh, there are four circles, so it's telling me that I need four more power moons. And that is what I need in order to uh, take off. Let's see those... I need to currently... Outlines of the moons would lead you to believe that they're full moons. But in reality, you're just collecting half moons. So... Well, they are full power moons, even though they may be partial okay, so half moons. While we're, kind of playing confusing. Mario, while we're playing Mario, I have a question. So I don't know if we touched this already in our podcast, uh, which everybody should go listen to. If you're watching this Let's Play and you haven't checked out the podcast yet, uh, check out the Digital Edge podcast. Uh, but I do have a question for you. What, where do you rank? What's your top five Mario games? You asking me that question? Yes, I am. Asking do, do I need to go ahead and answer that then? Yeah, yes. I want to know your top five Mario games. Where do you? Oh, there's purple coins and there's a T-Rex. For, for 3D Mario games too, because uh, I know we've talked about this a lot, and you and I both like uh, Sunshine. Oh, I love Sunshine. Sunshine is a very good game. Um, okay, so top five Mario games. Right now, it is a toss-up between. This one and Mario 64 for the top spot. I have played Mario 64 somewhat recently, um, so I'm not speaking just from nostalgic, nostalgic purposes. Um, so I will definitely say one and two are Odyssey and 64. I have, I, w the first Mario that I ever played was Mario for the NES, the very first Super Mario Brothers, uh, which we did talk about in that podcast. Um, oh, well, that was your first video. Yeah, uh, that and obviously um, Duck Hunt. But then just, you know, Super Mario World and Super Mario 3. So I guess that that would round out my top five. Is um, is Mario Odyssey, Mario 64, Mario World, Mario 3, and the original Mario. Even though I love Sunshine. Sunshine is great. Sunshine doesn't make it into the top five? Probably not. Sunshine was a really odd game. Just for I nostalgic it. purposes. I enjoyed it a lot, but it was definitely an odd game. What about you, Justin? Top five Mario games. Well, I've never played Odyssey. This is my first time 
uh, scene, Odyssey. Actually, it's pretty fun, though. I'd give this one a shot. Um, as for Mario, probably Super you know, uh, 3. Three original. I like Sunshine. I'm gonna put Sunshine in my top five. Probably okay. not at three. Uh, 64 was really good. I'll probably put 64 at three. And yep, he hit me. Mario Kart. <laughs> Mario Kart is not yeah. a 3D. Yes, it <laughs> is. That's in my top you just, five. Okay, okay so is what? it a sports game or is it a 3D it's Mario, a Mario game? game? It's a Mario game. 3D Mario game. You said Mario Kart. We just, we you just, guys are the worst. We're just selecting Mario like games. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sitting here playing games with you guys. <laughs> what about you, Zach? You never played enough Mario. Oh, I've played, played enough. So my uh, number five is Super Mario 64. Oh, wow. Because um, just... I never had it. I'm I had friends that played it, and being able to just have that kind of open world hub that, where you can go in the castle, jump through the portraits, and those are entire levels. Just so cool. Very unique. Number five is Super Mario World. It's probably the best Ooh, platforming is... Mario. And So this is the return of the 8-bit side-scrolling. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that is yeah. awesome. And uh, we we can't currently hear the music because uh, we turned it down. Uh, but it is currently remixing the music that was playing in uh, eight bit style. Really nice. I want you to get all of them. I can't get all of them because if I get all of them, I won't be able to get back up, Justin. That's not the point. Got to complete this. Oh, because because now I'm gonna miss this this, uh, this block. Oh, go. I can't even get this oh. block. You gotta be kidding me. There's a block here. And then number three is going to be Mario Kart 64. It does count. It does count. It's <laughs> such a Mario game. It is yeah, such a Mario game. Number two is okay, Mario. So, so. Number two is Mario Party 2. <laughs> such an awesome <laughs> game. I'm serious. Hey, Luigi's Mansion. So anybody who doesn't know Zach should know that Zach is. Um, uh, he likes to uh, say things uh, specifically. No, just no. To I'm being completely troll. honest. I don't believe a word have, you're saying, no, Zach. I'm serious. Mario Party 2 was the, in my opinion, the funnest. Mario Party. So, and then number one, okay, really quick. It, it may be the funnest Mario Party, but which is a Mario game. And then number one is Super Mario Odyssey. Um, I only got this far in Super Mario Odyssey, but I know it's my favorite <laughs> because it has a T Rex in it that you can actually run around in. And so that's why it's my favorite Mario game of all time. Oh you played it for 20 minutes. <laughs> and that whole 20 minutes, I was running around this level in a T-Rex. In a T-Rex. So these bunny enemies, the Brutals, are new to Mario Odyssey. They were not in a previous Mario game. Ouch. That is so not fair, dude. Don't you know who I am? I am Mario Jumpman Mario. Your uh, the doggy. Thank you. Nope. Come back here. Yeah. Do you find these boss battles challenging? Eh, no. Are any of them in this game challenging? I mean, they're challenging to the extent that you have to, you know, jump and miss things. But... It's just more of a matter of figuring, no. figuring out the Mario boss battles thing. have never been about the challenge. It's just about the, I don't know, the experience, I guess. Because the levels themselves to get to the bosses are usually more challenging than the battles. Yes, most definitely. Oh, he hit me again. Those are those. Throw his hat. Thank you, Mario. Let's uh, get away. Can you throw your hat on her? Uh, I don't believe so. Then, up. Oh, I have the one button. But the mechanic of the battle is to uh, take over the chain chomp. And you can see that she is wearing power uh, moons around her neck. And that is three half power moons. moons. Half moons. Well, they are. So you've already got. You've those already, are quite more than half moons. You've already uh, gathered five of them since we started. Playing. Yeah, because the idea is is that you come up here, you get these three, and you only need one more in order to take off the ship. And um, you know what? That is what we will do from the next episode of uh, Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey from John's Game Couch. That's a wrap. We'll see you guys next time.